These are the mini bars by Base Blocks. To save you some time, they're worth the money if you want a set of parallettes. But if you want a little bit more detail to back up your purchase, let's get into it. Why should you trust me when it comes to reviewing a set of parallettes? Well, one, two, three, four. I have seven sets to compare the mini bars to. When I first saw the mini bars, I was surprised by the design choice to include three different settings. I wasn't fully convinced it was even a good idea, but after watching the making of video that they did with Samonster, I decided to pre-order them anyways. But I have to say, after I unboxed these, any doubts I had went away pretty quick. The first nice thing is there's basically no assembly required. They come assembled almost entirely. The only thing you really have to do is put these metal clips into these holes and then also screw in these little knobs here. Once you get the four pins and the four knobs in, these are ready to go. The only thing you have to decide is what setting you want them on. And this is where I was really impressed with base blocks because my fear was that going from setting to setting was gonna feel clunky, awkward, and it just wouldn't have a good design to back it up. But now that I have these in hand, I can say the design of these is probably the best part about them. Let me show you what I mean. I didn't notice until just now that these actually pull. I thought they just screwed. I'm not sure what that's for. What is that for? No, dude, seriously? I had one complaint about these when I was using them and I think right now just in the middle of my review, I figured it out. Dude, it actually is. Okay, so I had one complaint about these and it was that you had to screw these completely out in order to change the settings, but that's what this thing is for. Okay, so I was going to show you how to adjust these, but in the middle of me adjusting them, I realized this handy little thing is here. So. What I originally had to do was pull this pin out, unscrew this all the way to get this part to go lower or higher depending on the setting you want. But with that little pull out thing, it allows this section to move up and down. And this is how you set it to the decline setting here. Put the pin in to lock it, now we have the decline setting. And then similarly, pull this out, slide this up, move it down, and put the pin in for the low setting. Now just to show you how brilliant this is, I'm gonna take this pin out real quick on this side. And you can see the holes line up right there, and then this thing just slides down. You push it up, you need to pull this out real quick, and then boom, those holes line up again and you just slide the pin back in. I promise that wasn't scripted. I was already happy with these, even if I had to unscrew these all the way. But now that I know you can just pull this out to free up the little mechanism, switching between the three different settings just got way faster. So it's kind of funny that my biggest worry with the mini bars turns out to be the part that I'm most impressed by because it would be so easy to have this feature built into these parallettes, but have it be super clunky where it takes a minute, two minutes to switch between the three settings and they pulled it off. It's super fast. I have to say though, if base blocks has messed up one part of this product, it's not making this mechanism super clear because I did not know that was a thing. Now, do these get the job done from a functional point of view, from an actual workout perspective using them as parallettes? Absolutely. These are great for a set of standard parallettes. This is 12 inches off the ground, which is kind of in line with most of the other parallettes that I have. But if for some reason you want that lower setting, maybe doing handstands at 12 inches is a little too much for you, which is totally understandable. 12 inches is a lot higher when you're upside down. You also have the lower 5.5 inch setting, which feels really nice. And unlike some of the other parallettes that I have that are more ground level parallettes, these still give you plenty of clearance, so you don't have to worry about your knuckles scraping across the floor or anything like that. Which is definitely an issue with a set of parallettes like the Vita Vibes. I love these, but they are much lower to the ground, and 
as you can see, my knuckles are basically touching the foam pad here. And finally, you have the angled setting of the mini bars. It is an 18 degree angle. And if you're like me, it's a setting on parallettes you've never really experienced before. I never thought to set my parallettes on an angle to where I'm leaning forward, but apparently it does help with your wrists. And after trying it out, it is easier on your wrists and it doesn't feel anywhere near as awkward as I thought it would. I don't know exactly how often I'll be incorporating this angled setting into my trading, but it is nice to have the option. And even if you don't plan to do any plant work using this decline setting, it's also a great way to do incline push-ups using them the opposite way. Now, as far as the build quality goes here, both aesthetically and functionally, I have to say base block, once again, absolutely nails it. At no point when you're holding these, using these, even just looking at it, do you ever feel like this is a low quality product? Like the other base blocks products that I have, it feels high quality, it looks high quality, it looks like it was built to last. Everything down to the handle, the metal finish, the little mechanism here that allows you to switch between the three settings, these knobs, the pins, everything just feels high quality. And of course, they even have some nice finishing touches here since they did the collaboration with some monster. So, that was very cool of them to put his own branding on the mini bars as well. And the laser etching, I'm not sure how they did it, looks very nice. And most importantly, when these are on the ground, they are stable. So you don't have to worry about jumping up into a handstand, wobbling around and feeling like you're gonna break a shoulder. Now with all of that said, I have to be honest and I do have one small complaint about the mini bars. This is entirely personal preference. You might not agree with it. But for me personally, the bar size is just a little bit thicker than I would like it to be. Having watched the making of video, I know that this was an intentional design choice. Some monster mentioned that the bigger bar size is supposed to help reduce strain on your hand. But for me personally, having used it just a little bit, I would prefer it to be a little bit skinnier. These are a very similar set of parallettes by Gravity Fitness. And it might be hard to tell in video, but the bar size here is perfect for me. That is really the only change I would make here. If I could somehow take this bar size, add it to the mini bar, these would be the perfect set of parallettes. And these aren't even that small. They're not significantly smaller, but they just feel a little bit better when I'm doing handstands, when I'm doing planche work. And just to help you guys out, here are some measurements of my hand size, both from the base of my palm to the tip of my middle finger, as well as from my pinky all the way to my thumb. So hopefully that might be able to help you decide whether or not the mini bar bar size is just a little bit too big for you. Now, the last thing worth addressing here is the price of the mini bars. As I mentioned earlier, the quality of the product feels very high quality. And as a result, the price reflects that. These are gonna run you $119, which is on the higher end when it comes to parallettes. Compare that to the Gravity Fitness Parallettes, which were the most expensive parallettes I had before these, and these will run you around 62 US dollars. And then you can compare these to the Body Power Parallettes, which is the first set of parallettes that come up on Amazon, and those run you $48. Now, obviously with the $119 here, you are getting three settings as opposed to the one 12 inch height you would get with something like the Gravity Fitness Parallettes but it is about twice the price. So whether or not that is worth it to you is gonna come down to you and your budget. But with all of that said, because Base Blocks positions themselves as a more premium brand, they do seem to have a refund or return policy that supports that. This is really nice to know with a product like this because it does have this mechanism that allows you to switch between the three modes. And on their website, they say, it rarely happens, but if there's anything wrong with the functional elements of the equipment, will fix it for free. So yeah, you are spending twice the amount for a set of parallettes, but you're also getting the support to back it up. So with all that said, what would I rate the mini bars by base blocks? Overall, I'm going to give them a 4.5 out of five stars. And honestly, if I were to remove any of my personal gripes with it, it'd be a five out of five. They nailed it. But as I mentioned earlier, the bar size is just a little bit thicker than I would like it to be. So for that reason, I'm docking half a star. But I just wanna be fully transparent with you guys. Don't take that as a negative. It just stops it from being the perfect product for me. So if bar size isn't an issue for you, you have my seal of approval, 
buy these, they're amazing. They're an awesome set of parallettes. You can't go wrong. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the mini bars by Base Blocks. If you guys have any questions about the mini bars, feel free to leave a comment below or even some of the other Base Blocks products I have. I check all the comments, so I'll see it. If you like this video, please like the video. And if you'd be so kind, maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. If you wanna see a video review of any of the other products you saw in this video, feel free to let me know and maybe I'll make a video about that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.